Okay, so today I'm fixing my original um, DMG, which dot matrix game. It's the, the original Game Boy in the gray case. And what we've done, we've taken it apart, and I'm using the old lid to insulate the top PCB from the bottom one. But I've still got the ribbon cable between them. So I have it powered up, and I've already fixed most of the lines on the left side of the screen, but we still have some over here. So what you do is you take a soldering iron, and very gently, and for not very long, we're going to melt the solder on this side. And you see that how the lines there are going online and offline? That's because the solder supplying those contacts is melting and then reforming underneath. See how the screen kind of looks like it's getting better? So you just have to figure out, okay, there's those ones we've got problems with. I'm going to heat them. I'm going to let that solder cool back down. And we just keep gently, and this material here is heat resistant, but you don't want to get into the board down here and you don't want to melt this frame. So you can heat the brown thing, but you have to peel, there's a rubber strip on top of it. You can find instructables that show how to take this apart and get into this section of the board. And we just gently do this until it gets better. Let's work on this side a little bit. And if you want to do a backlight mod, this is a good time to do it because you've already got the whole screen apart. But that is a little more complicated than what we're doing here today. See how that line goes back online as the solder reflows? And then I give it a 30 seconds or so for everything to cool back down before I work on the next area again. This only works with vertical lines. If you've got problems with horizontal lines, then you probably have a problem in this edge connector over here, which is underneath. And then it's easier to find a different Game Boy to work on. Or transplant the screen.